There are three words in the weather office vernacular that make me nervous. Mm -hmm. Active weather pattern. Yeah. Now in the winter, that yeah. can be really nasty. This time of year, not so much. However, it still means we're going to have a week where it's going to be cloudy, then it's going to be rainy, then right. the sun's going to make it rain again. It's all over the yeah, place. Yeah, you can't win. And we were hoping for a change in course, or you were at least in this pattern. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't think, I think it's going to work were. out. Um, so the way you frame it is today was the best day weather-wise of the week. Yeah, so hope you dug so, it because it was, that's pretty yeah. much it. Yeah. Chris said earlier that this was the best day of the week, and I was like, weather-wise. <laughs> like, I don't know <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it went on in your personal life or anything, but weather-wise, this is the best day that we're going to get, I think. Probably until the weekend, we might do a little bit better. 60 in Waterville, 53 in Portland. The story um, that Sean just had there about the ocean temperature, uh, it's worth noting that we kind of mirror that ocean temperature a little bit when there's an onshore flow. That's why it's a little bit cooler along the coast, or was a little bit cooler along the coast. Throughout the day today, we had, we'll call it a mixture of sun and clouds, but a lot of the day was through what I called milky sunshine. Uh, so there's high, thin clouds. The sun came through, but it was kind of diffused through a lot of the day, and it wasn't until the late afternoon that we broke out of that. So it could have been a little bit warmer still if we had a little bit more direct sunshine. All right, here's our next front. Now, we've got a severe thunderstorm warning south of Buffalo, New York here, but this front will be kind of falling apart, apart or uh, dissipating as it moves towards us. So it will not come in in this form, which is heavy rainfall. It'll be light showers late tonight and uh, into the day tomorrow. So the first half of tonight, temperatures upper 30s to around 40 degrees. And then here comes that front by early tomorrow morning and just scattered showers. Again, there's not much in the dynamics of this front initially. And so we'll see off and on showers, a lot of clouds to the first half of tomorrow. And then it's not until tomorrow afternoon that we get a little bit more moisture out of this as the secondary low develops. And that's when we start to get maybe a few downpours, especially along the coastline overnight tomorrow night in through early Wednesday. Wednesday, the rain moves out, we get a break, and then here's some more showers Wednesday afternoon. And watch this. As we head into Thursday, some cold air starts infiltrating the northern edge of the system and starts pulling some snow down into Millinocket, Greenville, and eventually into Bangor by Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. And that's because this low gets so wrapped up, it starts pulling down or kind of manufacturing its own cold air. And that allows us to change over to snow in northern Maine and perhaps some snow all the way to the coast over down east Maine Thursday night into Friday. I don't think there's going to be a ton of accumulation there, but flakes flying and they'll continue to fly into the mountains on Friday morning before we get this system out of here finally for the weekend, or at least the second half of the weekend. So snowfall amounts here. I just want to caution you that although there will be accumulating snow across northern Maine, um, some of this will melt in between, so it's not like we're going to see these big snowfall totals. But still, I think one or two or up to three inches of snow is possible in Bangor, even though it's on kind of the southern edge of things. And then Bar Harbor could see some flakes. I don't think we'll let necessarily see a whole inch accumulate, but it just shows you where the, the reach of snow will be. So we'll try to clear out in time for the weekend. I think Saturday's fine. Sunday potentially is better. And then... We clear out for early next week, and we're back in the upper 50s. Everything's looking good. Maybe. <laughs> next week, I'm not so sure we stay in the pattern that we're going to start in for next Monday. But we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, until then, you know, just unsettled, like I said, active. Yeah, and you know? this is April weather. It's not really that surprising. No, and same thing, early May. Do, how often do you bank on nice weather in early May? Not often. Well, no. Yeah. yeah, and like you said last week, we saw snow in yeah. early May. May 2020. Years ago. Yeah. I remember that. It was the lockdown was still going on. And we're like, we do not Because need we needed this that in yeah. our lives. Yeah. This better not be a sign of what's to come. No. <laughs> Thanks.